All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I am coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, I went ahead and I bought the new Mercedes. I wanted to buy a truck that I have modded into the game, but I only have Mercedes dealerships on a uh, Mercedes dealership unlocked. I haven't unlocked anything else, so the truck is obviously in another dealership, and I can't buy it. So until I can find it and buy it, this is the truck we're going to run with. Now, I'm playing on easy mode, which means that this is probably going to go bloody insane. So, I'm not afraid to upgrade my truck, which we're going to do after. Right now, I'm going to company manager. Uh, and I'm going to bump my garage up immediately. There we go. I have a bigger garage. Thank you. Okay. Now, we're going to go to the Mercedes dealership. I have to visit the dealer. I can't buy online if I don't have five trucks. This is 98000 This is 103 Guess what we're buying? Because the reality is is that you're, it doesn't matter what your truck, what, what your drivers drive. It only matters what you drive. So you can buy the cheapest truck in the game, which would be the Iveco Stratus, by the way. So we're going to buy two um, I don't know why it hangs up a little bit. But did I just drive it? Yeah, I did. That's all right. Company manager, truck man, I wasn't paying attention. Drive it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh truck dealer I know. I have to do this again. Uh, visit. Yes. Do, 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 do. Purchase. No. That's what I needed to do. Okay. Leave. Yes. Uh, recruitment agency. Hire driver. <laughs> I need to discover one before I can hire. You mean I haven't discovered a recruitment agent? All right. Hopefully there's one locally. Um, I only have fifty thousand. That's not a lot. I can do to this truck to modify it. But we're gonna. Trust me, this actually pays out in the end. Um, mega zoom in here well there is something here so it could be an agency and it's on the way to the garage so when I pull out I take a left then a right basically all right I can do that I love the fact that this thing has four reverse gears Yeah, one of the reasons my frame rate may have been a little rougher than normal in the past video too is because I've been launching the 32-bit version. Oh, wait. Yeah, we, we've got to do this. We've got to do this. Um, F4. Uh, that's right. I, need to, I don't know why. You can only do it through WSAND. Two. No, I want five. Because the other mirror really doesn't matter to me. And then we back our chair up all the way, and we're good. No, oh, it's a dealership. Renault. I have to visit that dealer now. So rather than do anything to our truck, um, let's check our Renault dealer. That's Mercedes Benz, that's Renault. Uh, I 
I'd laugh if it was here. Seven, eight, okay, it's not here. All right. Whatever, dude. Am I back in my garage or my, okay, I'm where I left off. I'm at least gonna try and put some lights on my truck. Excuse me while I be a bully. I gotta go all the freaking way around to do this, don't I? Oh, and I need to rest too. Well, I can rest here at the garage. So not a huge deal. Alright. Upgrade. Uh, can't do any of that anyways. Can't upgrade the engine. Uh, I really like the transmission. We'll see. Not going to worry about the interior. The color, I'd honestly like to go with... Uh, yeah, I, li I like the red. If I can afford it. <laughs> There's so many upgrades. I want a light bar, damn it. Really? That's That's new. I don't even know what that is. Right. Roar does just not look right like that. It really doesn't. Um, what if I go... No. No. And we're not going to put Roar like that. We're just not. What do I put here? Well, whatever it is, it's not available. Uh, can't change that at all. I can only remove it. Get rid of this damn thing. Uh, kind of not worth the bull bar, but I'm going to do it anyways. Boy, they really have changed things, haven't they? At least a little bit. I can't read what this says. If you can't... Oh, if you can't see... Alright. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, wow, can't put big lights on it, huh? No, we'll try the chrome. And the samurai. Can't put any lights on it, so it's not worth it. Uh, mirror, can't change. Tires, not going to worry. Standard. Chrome Custom. Chrome Custom 2. Eh, standard's fine. Can't do that yet. Don't want to do that yet. American co No. This just... Actually, it's a little bit cheaper, isn't it? 26, 9, 25. That's weird. So, I really can't put anything else on the truck. So, that's going to have to do it. Which is a shame. I I did change the training, right? Yeah, okay. So, that's going to take uh, a little bit more than half of what we have left, but it'll do. All right. <laughs> let's get some rest and then find our first load to haul in our own personal truck and build up money to buy that other one. Oh, great rain you, you you all know how i love rain right we actually freight market Ooh, look at all the fun stuff we can tow Unfortunately, like, none of that's actually there. That is where we are, right? Yeah, okay. So there are a couple fun things. Um, the wind turbine looks like an interesting trailer. And then there's the Scania Sport. But 
Well, see, here's the thing. Important delivery meat and fragile means we'll get more experience for this, but we're losing 3,000 euros to do it. And this one, I gotta go to the United Kingdom. And that one, I gotta go to the United Kingdom. What's on the second tier? Uh, not much. They all gotta go... Well, that one doesn't. It would figure that, like, the only trailers that don't need to go to the United Kingdom are the normal ones. Well, so be it. We're gonna go get the wind turbine. Yeah, the wind turbine's close by, so not a huge deal. Sadly, I don't have an air horn. That's all I have. traffic Good job. It shouldn't be too tough for us. It's not overly heavy. It's really not. So, I'm going to go without that because on the Mercedes, you don't need it. You know, I'm wondering something. Oops. I'm wondering if adjusting the mirror over there. Oops. Adjust the mirror that you see in the floating mirror. Because it would really help if it did. I know that probably won't, but I might as well adjust it anyways, right? It does make a difference. Alright, I did not know that. So, anyways, as I was going to say, what I'm going to talk about right now is something that some people may find a little bit gross, a little too much information, uh, a little too personal. Um, it's a, it's a health-related thing. It's not anything, you know, else. But, forgive me. Now that I have that mirror adjusted so far out, I was like, I gotta make it match. <laughs> or I'm gonna go nuts. So... I'm sorry if this, like, bothers anybody. Or, um... You know, you're grossed out by it. But... 
when you lose somebody as close to you as I lost my wife, um, you lo you take a whole different perspective on life, and you look at things very, very differently. Yeah. I'm running side by side with this dude. It's freaking me out. And so you tend to learn to not sweat certain things, such as talking about certain subjects. Becomes less embarrassing or less uh, upsetting than what they normally might be for other people. Uh, one. So again, if what I'm talking about embarrass you, upsets you, grosses you out for any reason, I do apologize, but it's my new take on life. So first off, I hope I can make this full playthrough, uh, whether we go the entire full distance or not. In other words, if I decide to take a break and then do a run or whatever. Um, because I've been having, um, to put it lightly, difficulties with using the bathroom. Anyone that's older may know exactly what I'm talking about. I've never had this issue before, and I don't think it's because I turned 42, although anything's possible. It's not because of my diet change, because it started a little bit before I changed my diet. And one of the reasons I'm hoping we get through this entire um, playthrough is because I took a very strong laxative uh, liquid known as magnesium citrate. It's a saline solution that you drink and it's supposed to help and it works within one to six hours. Well, to put it kindly, it already worked. But that's not how it works. It doesn't just work one time and you're good. So I'm fully expecting to find the need to use the bathroom again. So hopefully that won't happen on this playthrough. But I find it bothersome and really disturbing that I'm having this problem. I mean, I understand getting older and all, but this is kind of ridiculous. It's happened three times in two months. This is the third time. I actually had to run to the um, I had to run to the drugstore and spend some of the very little money I have left right now because things are extra tight this month. And I had to... Um, you know, pick up something to help me. So, to like, top all that off, I picked up five bottles, so I have four left. Just in case it happens again. So I'm going to see my doctor tomorrow, and when I do, I'm going to talk to her about this problem. Yes, my doctor is a she. I'm going to talk to her about this problem, about me needing to use the bathroom more, you know, not needing, but you know, me having issues uh, using the bathroom and needing to get a laxative like this. At first, I thought maybe it was a problem with my medication, my new medication, my metformin. But metformin, there's nothing that says that it causes that. As a matter of fact, uh, it's more likely to cause the opposite. 
One problem I do have with my metformin, and you might think it's a good thing, but it can be a bad thing, is that it kills my appetite. Now, trying to lose weight, that's a good thing, but considering that my medication helps lower and control my sugar, that actually gets dangerous. I wonder if I should go back to the first transmission if it's better than this. Because this may be a heavy haul transmission. I shouldn't be really going over 1500 in 12th gear. Or maybe they made adjustments to the truck. I'm going to lock it in at 105. I usually like to go 110, but... I'll lock it in at 105. I still haven't turned that rumble strike off. I'm really hoping for good news uh, on Monday, uh, tomorrow. I'm really hoping for good news. The good news being that I've lost weight. I've broken four times, maybe five, in two months. That's not bad for somebody who's starting out. But for the most part, I've... Um, and each time I broke, it was fast food. Today, um, I took my dog skip their nails clip. I hadn't realized that I hadn't eaten because I wasn't feeling hungry. My metformin. I got downtown, and then suddenly the hunger had hit me. And it was almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I had not eaten since the night previous. So, the last time I ate was like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night. So when the hunger hit me, man, it's bam, and I couldn't wait till I get home. So I went to Burger King, and I bought, you know, unfortunately, a Whopper meal, large size, with some onion ring, you know, fries, and then onion rings as well. Because you don't eat... Um, speed change I just construction sites are very nefarious with cameras the fuck just happened oh the street lights came on <laughs> okay I didn't see him at first So, anyways, yeah, as I was saying, um, which I forget what I was saying. Um, jeez, what was I talking about? My doctor, I think. there's nothing on my side. I get very lucky with that. <sighs> it's going to drive me nuts. I don't know what I was talking about. You know what my dad? Oh no! I was gonna say you know what my dashboard's missing is a clock, but no, I can see the clock. It's twenty thirty, I think. I can't see very well small print at distance. Uh, if I had my glasses on, I could, but putting my glasses on actually hurts my eyes more when dealing with this. So I just go with slightly blurry vision. I can see well enough for now. Oh, I, I was talking about my weight and my eating and breaking. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, so I got a Whopper meal with uh, French fries. I got a Diet Coke. I got a Diet Coke at least. Uh, and uh, um, 
Shit, what the fuck was it? Oh yeah, onion rings, like I said. Because you don't go to Burger King without getting onion rings. So, overall, not good. But keep in mind that I've had one bad meal for f in five days. So, five bad meals out of three meals a day for not quite two months. It's a little bit less than two months because I didn't start right away. I ate less right away, but I wasn't like at where I'm at now. Since then, I've had um, either chicken or fish, one patty, one chicken breast. Uh, today, I actually had very, very lean pork, uh, which I found out you can also have. Um, then I usually have a vegetable, which right now has been broccoli or uh, asparagus or corn. Um, I've been having potatoes. Uh, two small red potatoes a meal uh, garbanzo beans uh, those have usually been my two starches right now and uh, oh, too much I'm going to check and see if the other transmission's got a bit of gearing in this one I don't know But, uh, yeah, the garbanzo beans and the uh, uh, potatoes have been my starch, which are actually, from what I've read, healthy. And then, um, or I could have, or, you know, I could have a four bean salad uh, for my uh, dinner. Or, um, what is it? Oh no, my, my breakfast has almost consistently been two eggs with whatever on the side. Sometimes I make uh, sandwiches. Yes, I said sandwiches. I, I almost never say sandwiches anymore unless I'm like ordering sandwiches. Um,. So, and, and they've been portioned, so I've been very, very, very healthy. But I don't know, you know, without seeing numbers, I can't tell if I've lost weight. So when I last weighed into my doctor's appointment, I was 471 pounds. Which my weight has been really consistent. I usually weigh between 460 and 480. Well, I'm really hoping that when I go back to the doctors tomorrow, my weight has come down from 471. Okay? These are the goals that I've set for myself in one year to two years. I don't think I could do it in a year, which is why I've asked, you know, to stay where I am for two years. Now, this is speaking physically, not financially. In two years' time, should I choose to go home? Oh, it looked like I was changing a uh, highway, so that's why I slowed down. Should I choose to go home, whether that be Massachusetts or Florida? Massachusetts is my... Sorry, dude. I did not know that was going to happen. I so thought he was going to stop. So, um, my home state is Massachusetts, but my father has offered to take me to Florida. 
which is much more akin to where I live right now. Except with alligators. <laughs> no, I know they're not all over the state, but you know. Anyways, uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, all joking aside, so I have a choice to which state I go to. My goal for two years from now is to be able to, if I choose to fly home, to be able to fly home in a single seat. As it stands now, and for a lot of weight that I have to drop, I will have to buy two seats. And as I've mentioned before, I'm one of those people where I understand the airlines doing that. I don't get mad, I don't claim fat hate, or anything like that. I understand why the airline need not just wants to, but it really does kind of need to charge me for two seats. I really think it's fair. I'm as heavy, in many cases, as two people, and my ass does not fit in one seat. And I'm not asking the airlines to make a bigger seat for me. That's not fair either. Plus, if I need to use the bathroom flying over, I'd like to be able to do that. I don't want to end up in this situation uh, that I read about one time where this really heavy set guy flew, uh, I don't know how far it was, but he ended up needing not just to pee, but he ended up needing to take a crap while flying and he couldn't fit in the bathroom so what they had to do was give him a bucket take him to the back of the plane into the stewardess area and then hold up a sheet for privacy purposes I don't want that to be me. So that's my goal for two years. If I choose to move home, physically, my goal for two years is to move home in a single seat. That's all I care about. My immediate goal, we'll find out tomorrow, my immediate goal was to be lighter than when I went to the doctors a month ago. <clears throat> That's my immediate goal. So we'll see if that goal has happened, you know, I'll find out tomorrow. My appointment, I've got two, one at 2.40 and like one at 3.30 because I'm seeing a nutritionist as well. Now my idea was to um, take pictures of each and every one of my meals on my phone, but I ended up not doing that. So what I ended up doing was taking pictures of uh, a bunch of my different, you know, kinds of meals that I eat and show them to my nutritionist and see what she says. Now, um... Speaking of shopping... I've come to a like a really hard realization uh, on two fronts and it's been a little difficult uh, the first front is because I'm portioning and not eating as much I don't need as much and that also is the second front that without my wife there's not as much being consumed all right everything's backwards here I need 
need to remember that. So, um, I'm like totally confused. All right. Okay. God, it's been this long. I need to be on that side of the road. Well, good thing it's the middle of the night. Last uh, speed at sign I saw was 50, so I'm going to hold to that for now. Because again, it's notorious to get speeding tickets. Sorry. I'm pretty sure we're past the 50 mark. So, with those two things in mind, when I went shopping last time, I was still buying like, like me and my wife always used to. So, what I ended up getting was um, two bags, two six-pound bags of chicken breasts, a ba you know, a small sleeve of. Um, fish patties and pork a big thing of pork well I'm still not through the first bag of uh, chicken I still have an entire another bag of chicken to go and it's been almost a month since I bought it I still have an entire another bag of chicken breasts to go through. I have an entire bag of chicken thighs in there still from when my wife and I went shopping two months ago. Well, not an entire bag, about half a bag. Um, you know, it's, it's really crazy just how much I actually have. So when I go shopping, I need to focus on side stuff. Um... I want to focus on um, uh, like vegetables, canned vegetables, fresh vegetables. Uh, maybe try and find some better starches. Uh, well, the potatoes are good. When I say better, I mean more. Uh, there's a couple more out there that I could do. There was one I read about, I forget what it is, my dad even mentioned it, but I've never personally seen it. Uh, is it like lentil or something like that? I've never personally seen it. I may have to go to a health store to find it. There's a truck up ahead of us. So, so that came as quite a shock. Speaking of things that I've been realizing and things that have been a shock to me, uh, August 6th is going to be a tough day for me. And it's already a little tough right now thinking about it. But August 6th is going to be a, a, a rough day for me because, you know, August 6th um, would have been. I get a speeding. Well, I did pretty good up to that point, obviously. Um, August 6th would have made my 10th year anniversary with my wife, with Joy. That was my wife's name, her English name. Well, yeah, that was her English name, was Joy. Was Joy. Her Hawaiian name was Miley. I forget her full Hawaiian name, Miley. I, I honestly don't remember. But that was her first name, was Joy. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. But August 6th is going to be tough. Now, I was hoping to do something really special to mark our anniversary. Because I'm still going to celebrate it. Um, 
and that really special uh, thing I was going to do, I was going to try and take my wife to Lahaina again, to uh, the Kanapali Beach Hotel, and take her on Sunday and go to the Sunday brunch, just me and her. I was going to try and do that, but I can't afford it this month. I really just can't afford it this month. The brunch itself, uh, for me, would be about $30, which isn't bad. But then there's also the gas to get to Lahaina, which would be another 20 That's $50. I have 58 Well, now I, now I have 48 left. Yeah. Plus, I have to take my dogs to get fixed on the 25th this month. Plus, I got my doctor's appointment tomorrow. Plus, I got to pay a little bit of money to my phone bill. Money's just too tight this month. I can't do it. I just really can't do it. And it's a shame. So, what I'm going to probably do is take one of my credit cards, the one I'm allowing myself to use if I need to or want to. That's my Capital One card. After my payment clears to them, I my you know I have some I have a little bit of credit on there. Once my payment clears to them, what I will probably end up doing on the sixth is again ordering from my favorite Italian restaurant here on Maui Serpico's, ordering a small little something, and just coming home. I'm going to take the picture of my wife and me that we had taken a while ago and sit it down next to me and I'm going to eat here and celebrate my anniversary in a sense with my wife. I promised, I promised myself that I'm going to celebrate two things every year and remember I, I know I missed a few and remember or mourn a couple thing, one thing every year I'm going to every year I'm going to celebrate my wife's birthday every year I'm going to celebrate my wife's birthday October 30th every year I'm going to celebrate our anniversary you can tell this is still tough on me yeah every year well it's 50 miles per hour not 50 kilometers these trucks need a button on them or dual purpose a speedometer that have miles per hour and uh, or I just need to learn the fucking conversions. Yeah. I need to just go learn the conversions. I can, honestly. I can just write them down and go, you know, 30 miles per hour equals how many kilometers. You know? And then I can go 50 miles per hour equal how many kilometers. And just whichever ones I see, just go and find out, yeah? But here we are. Here we are. I really wish that'd go away. Go away. Yeah, see it won't. There it goes. Boy, I did a terrible pull in, by the way. And I'm doing a terrible job relining it back up. Just so you know. I don't even know if that's going to make it. No. 
That's alright. We'll just pull it straight and do it again. There we go, we got it. All right, uh, I'm gonna start maxing out long distance as I usually do. Check the map where we are. All right, there's a question mark here. So I'm gonna go to that question mark. Hopefully it's a recruitment agency. It may be a dealership, but so out, right, uh, out, left, left, basically. All right. Let's do that before we rest. What gear am I in? Wow, that trail was fucking me up. Oh, I did have my highs on. I want to be on this side of the street so I can just pull out. almost didn't remember to turn on this side of the street, just so you know. Hey, it looks like a recruitment agency! Sweet. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna get it if I go this way. I gotta go this way. Yay! Let's recruit some people right here. Right now. Really? Okay. Recruitment agency. Look at that. Oh my god, I can only hire one? And he sucks. Fine. Uh, let's go, dude. Oh, cool. And actually, he's pretty good. Believe it or not. There we go, there we go. And now we want to go company manager, driver. And Samuel L, I want you to long distance. I want you to fragile. And hopefully I'll remember all this by the time I'm done. Alright, let's go rest and then take a peek at what our next trailer is going to be. Oh yeah, and get repaired while we're at it. Always repair when you're done. Yeah. It's supposed to be on this side. It shouldn't be that hard for me to remember steering wheel to the sidewalk, but just because it feels strange, you know? Alright, uh, enter. We don't want to upgrade right now, even though there are new parts. Actually, there may be new parts. So let's see what new parts there are while I'm here. New upgrades. Paint job. Oh, we can put a side panel on. You know what? I want to put a side panel on. So, uh, enter. Upgrades. Yeah. Confirm. Oh, wait. I wanted to check the transmission, didn't I? Uh... At 16,000. Nah, I'm just going to keep this one. 
Alright. Oops. <laughs> God, again, too many reverse gears. No need to put my lights on. Which of my lights haven't been on the entire time, by the way. I forgot to turn them on. But whatever. Oh. Okay. Uh, job market. Thank you. Print market. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh shit. No, we can't. Uh. uh wow. Okay, that just kind of goes back along the route we had. This is ten to eighteen. So I guess we're gonna take. Proms, 20 tons of proms. Unless there's a really interesting trailer on the next page. And no, not really. Just lumber. Alright, folks, so that's going to be our next one. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. If you don't mind, I'm going to hurry through this because the laxative will not be denied anymore. <laughs> I apologize. I gotta go. I'll see you next time.